everybody. This is Nick Desi from the Lunenburg Public Library, and I have a really cool craft that I want to share with you today. There's two things that I really like about this project, one of which is that you can make it from simple things you can find around your house. Shave cream, some food coloring, toothpicks, um, just some simple paper. The heavier paper you have, the, the better, but you can do it with printer paper as long as you're careful. Uh, a scraping tool. We'll talk a little bit more about that in just a minute. So the process for doing this, very simple. You're gonna take your shave cream, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a shake here. Oh, a cookie sheet. Does, this is what I choose to use. You could use anything, just because you do wanna uh, try to somewhat contain your, your shave cream. And then you'll also need a second. Um, again, I'm gonna use another cookie sheet, but you could also just put this down on a piece of newspaper and scrape it off, because you're gonna get the extra shave cream off your, your artwork when you're done. So again, I'm just going to put some shave cream in the middle. I'm going to put a fair amount like this. Okay. There's my shave cream. Looks just like that. The cool thing about this is it really smells good. Now, food coloring. And I have, I have some blue, some green some red and some yellow. And I think for my project, I'm gonna use all the colors. So this, for this part, very simply, you just put a drip here, maybe there's one here, over here, put one over here, here, okay. some red. All right, it's all ready. <laughs> this looks kind of cool. If you look at it like that. There it is with my scattered about colors. Now the next part is you're going to take, you can use your finger if you don't mind getting food coloring on your finger. Just know that it will take some time for that to, to come off in the, in the bathtub. Um, or with hand washing, which we know we're doing a lot of. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my toothpick and I'm going to kind of swirl it through this shave cream like this. I'll go this way. And maybe I'll go this way. What I'm doing is moving these colors around throughout the, kind of distributing them throughout the food coloring. Oh, that already looks pretty cool. Now look at it. I don't know if you can tell, but there's lots of places where it's made these almost like feathery designs. So the next part is you're going to just take your piece of paper. This is just, um, I happen to have some slightly thicker um, paper. As I said, you could use just regular uh, computer paper if you want. You're going to lay it down on top and gently pat it. Lift it up. Oh my. And look, I mean, this looks kind of cool just like this, doesn't it? But wait till you see what happens. So now the next part, lay right down like that. So here. And I mentioned that we needed a scraping tool. So I looked around my house to see what I could find. And certainly a trusty spatula, this works really well. You could use a, a ruler. I happen to have an oversized um, popsicle stick, which this one, just so you know, the closer you get to the shave cream, the more likely you are to get some on your hands, if you don't mind that. And then I'll also, I have one of these. <laughs> this is pretty cool. This is a scraper. And um, this works really, really well. So I think I'll try this one for this first one. So you just put it down, right down on top of your piece of paper, and you slide it across. Oh my goodness, wait till you see what this looks like. Woohoo! It is beautiful. Ta da! Look at the design that I created. It's just so colorful, and the, the colors kind of swirled in together. 
just love this process. So now you have this piece of artwork that you can display as is. You can use it as a background, maybe put some colored shapes on it or um, anything that you want. Um, you could fold it in half, write a message inside for someone in your family. Hope you're having a good day today. I made a special picture for you. Um, you could <clears throat> maybe, depending on where, where you are, you might want to practice some letters or write your name or write a little message to your, your teacher. Um, and then you could, uh, mom or dad could email it to your teacher or whomever you choose and, and they would get to see what you created. Just make sure you show them the other side too, okay? So can you reuse the shave cream? Sure you can. So this time, put it down again. And I think that I will maybe I'll swirl it a little bit again. See what happens if I swirl it again. And you can use this as many times as you'd like. The fun part is um, when you're done, I think it's great for next time, you can, um, then you can play in the shave cream if you'd like. Right now, I kind of resist the urge to do that. So this time I cut out kind of a seasonal shape. It's like this, looks like an egg. So I'm going to put that on top of that. You have to have two of them. Might as well do two. Like that. Once again. Looks cool even like that. I'm going to put that down on here. Whoops. Move this across here. Now let's see what happens when we scrape the food coloring and the shave cream off the egg shape. This time I am going to use my, my trusty kitchen spatula. It's just shave cream. Won't hurt it any. Oh my goodness, what do you see this? This is so beautiful. Excess over here. And this one. So now, look what it makes. And you can, you can, um, once you dry this you can put a book on top of it or something, you know, or something to have this a little heavy once it's dry and to weight it down and flatten it out a little bit. So there's that one and that one. So again, that is one beautifully decorated, egg, or two beautifully decorated eggs. So have fun with this project. Um, the sky's the limit in terms of what you want to um, print on. I'm choosing paper. Um, I think you could even, if you put your shave cream in a bowl and added your food coloring and carefully swirled it around, I think you could put a hard-boiled egg in there and roll it around and then wipe the shave cream off. I think that would be a really cool, interesting um, Easter egg that you would, do, you would uh, create. So try it. See how it would look. All right, so thank you all very much for joining us today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed learning about this this craft. Maybe you've done it before, but if not, I, I hope you get a chance to try it. Thanks, everybody. Bye.